I mentioned in our Yoimi and build guide, I had planned to make a different team comp video for her because I think she has some fun and interesting teams and she could be a little weird to work around in some of those teams. So it, it, I think it's worth it to go ahead and show those off to you and some of the reasonings behind them for you guys. Hi. My name is Blossoms and welcome to another Genshin Impact video and today we're going to be going over some Yoi Mia team builds. Now of course I didn't think of every team build in the universe here so if you got one that's different on the list here then go ahead and put it in the comment section below because I like trying out tons of different team comps myself and fun team comps are half the reason I play the game. But other than that if you enjoy this kind of content don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a ton and I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and talk about some of these teams. First off we'll start off with the one that was in the intro that being Yoimiya, Yunjin, Yalan, and Toma. And I particularly really like this team for a couple of reasons. Toma here is actually a flex slot. You can swap him out with another unit that we'll talk about in just a second. But this team is really good because Yunjin is providing a huge buff with her elemental burst on Yoimiya's normal attacks. Yalan does a fantastic job at setting you up for some vaporizing. And Toma's shield is wonderful because you can reapply it as you go along meaning Yoimiya is just not going to get interrupted while she's doing her normal attacks, which is integral to any Yoimiya team build is making sure she doesn't get interrupted because if you miss that third and fifth hit on her normal attack, like we talked about in her build guide, it's very detrimental to your DPS. It is a big issue there. So having a good shielder or a way to make sure you're not getting hit is very important. Resistance interruption is very important. And this is a solid vaporized team. Toma doesn't get in the way of your vaporizes and he helps you with that shield aspect and Yunjin really does buff up those uh, normal attacks there. It's also worth noting that the fact that this team doesn't really scale off of attack percent other than Yoimiya, so if you wanted to run the Shiminawa set, then this is a really good team to do so because the biggest downside to running the Shimanawa set is meaning that you're not going to be getting an attack buff to the rest of your units and since these guys all scale off a of defense or an HP or something, it doesn't really matter if you're giving them that attack bonus and you could get more damage out of your normal attacks from Shimi Nawa's there. But I did say Toma was a flex here. Do you also have another option? The Pyro Resonance is nice, but certainly not necessary. As I mentioned, attack percent doesn't matter that much. And in fact, Zhongli is going to be a better option for this team. I just kind of prefer the way Toma's shield is applied, but Zhongli is fantastic because the Geo Resonance is just insane. Your shield strength is stronger and you deal more damage when you have a shield and the Geo re Resistance is lowered as well. It, he's a phenomenal pick for this team. Allows you to vaporize a ton while being very protected and allows you to deal that much more damage because of the Geo Resonance. Also wanted to mention that Noel works in this composition as well. It doesn't have to be Zhongli or something. She provides a really strong shield and also provides the healing option for the team rather than just not having the healing here. So if you want to be a little bit safer here, Noel is a really good pick, especially since she has the passive that gives you the shield when you're at lower health anyway. So that's all fantastic there. Really underrated character for this kind of composition and I wanted to make sure I mentioned it. Next up, we're sticking with the Vaporize theme as we were before, but this one, it does a little bit more damage at the cost of being a little bit riskier because you don't have the shield here. Yunjin and Bennett are the best buffers for Yoimiya and them together is an even better buff overall, allowing her to deal a ton of damage. Bennett also acts as a good healer here and then Xing Shou just being your Vaporize or Hydro application applier there is a really good option for Yoimiya. You could do Yulan here, but I would be weird because you don't get that resistance to interruption, but with Xing Shou, you do because of his rain swords, which is very, very nice, allowing to make sure that your Yoimiya gets her combo off, which as I said before, is very important. This team isn't particularly interesting or different in any way. It's just probably the maximum buff version of a Yoimiya team. So if you really wanted to dish out a ton of damage, this is likely going to be the best way to do it. The next team is going to be our very first fireworks or over vape team that you may have heard of before. And that is when you are essentially doing electro charge business with some of your units and then vaporizing and overloading both the hydro and electro element over an opponent's head and dealing just that much more damage because of it. And the tried and true classic combination of Xing Shou and Beidou are a phenomenal pairing because they both give you damage resistance uh, via the rain swords or via Beidou's elemental burst. 
Not to mention Beto helps out with some of that crowd control because of her elemental burst. She has a counter mechanic to help protect you if you get caught flipping or are a little bit too close to an enemy. Fischl here is a really good unit as well for the Electro Resonance to help out some of your energy recharge and also provide some additional damage, especially when the reactions happen. And this is overall a really good team, but it's also one of the more flexible ones as you can sub out a lot of these different units. You could have the Alon here if you wanted. You could have uh, just Fischl or Beto here, and then you could have somebody like Kazawa in the mix. That's also a really good team right here. And um, that works out because Kazuwa allows you to do that same crowd control thing that Beto was offering to the team. You do lack a resonance when you do something like this. You could have somebody like Bennett here as well to help buff your Yoimiya or uh, even Yoon Jin here. The last slot is pretty flexible, but as long as you have a good off field Hydro Applier like Xing Shou and a good off field Electro Applier like Fischl, Raiden Shogun or Beto or even Yai Miko, uh, you're likely going to be fine. And then adding in Kazawa, Yoon Jin, Zhongli or even another Electro unit are all going to be fine options. And that's kind of the beauty to this team is that it all comes down to personal preference. Even somebody like Kuki Shinobu is a really solid option here, although she doesn't have the same range nearly as Yoimiya. She does provide that healing off of field, which is very nice. And occasionally, if opponents get too close, you're just going to overload them, which is going to knock them back. And that's pretty nice. And I've talked about that before in another video before with Kazuo, I believe. But uh, overall, this team is very flexible. That's probably the nicest part about it. But the strongest version of this team, I'd still think, is probably this one just because all of these characters are so insane, especially when used together. Now, I'm sure some of you have been thinking it since the video started, but Mono Pyro is also an option for Yoimiya. You can dish out really solid Pyro damage, and if you just buff that uh, with Kazuha and debuff the enemy with Kazuha and buff her with Bennett as well, she can really pop off in a Mono Pyro team composition. The damage here is actually nothing to scoff at, and it can really pull off some crazy stuff. Chongling, of course, is an amazing option here as well well you can also just choose to use somebody like yun jin here if you really don't want to lean in that hard into pyro that's going to be fine well because yun jin is going to be providing an amazing buff along with bennett here and uh when as i said before these two are some of the best buffers for yoimiya and both of them together is no joke and you add kazawa to the mix he's still going to be buffing the pyro element and debuffing the enemies with the pyro element so this is still a phenomenal option. And the team's a lot stronger than you might think. They do really good damage. I personally never find these mono pyro or mono electro kind of teams all that fun, but they certainly can be at times. And if that's something that interests you, then I highly recommend you go for it. All right, back to Vaporize, baby, where we belong. And <laughs> basically, this team is only different in the fact that it focuses on having a Viridescent Benner user other than somebody like Yunjin or Bennett here. And that is because Kazuha or Sucrose are really good options to buff your pyro and debuff the enemy, as we've mentioned before. And then if you have characters like Toma and Yolan, they're really going to be helping out with that because Toma's going to apply the pyro. You're going to be able to swirl it with Kazuha add some extra uh, debuff and buffing that way, and then you're going to be able to cast the Elan, move on to your Yoimiya, and just pop off dealing a ton of damage while having all of the resistance in the world uh, because of somebody like Toma's shield. This team does lack a healer in general, and if that does bother you, somebody like Xing Shou can help with that out a little bit, but otherwise you're a bit strapped for a particular healer on this team. There is one more option here. It's not as good as Toma, in my opinion, even though the shield is technically stronger and she does offer some healing technically, and that is actually Yanfei. Uh, if you build Yanfei as a tank and you have her C4 uh, constellation there where she gets a shield after casting her elemental burst, it's actually a very strong shield. And if you put something like the actual um, the prototype Amber here, it allows you to regenerate some HP for all of your allies. So that's an option there. She, she has a strong shield and the potential to actually heal the team and is a viable solution for your viridescent venerer version of your Yoimiya vape team. All right, kick out the hydro characters. We're moving straight to overload baby because Yoimiya has actually got some decent range. And if you put the same combination of Beto and Fischl together, like we mentioned before, and you pair that with one of her best buffers like Bennett or Yunjin, you actually have a good overload team composition. And if you want to meme around with overload, that's an entirely viable thing to do. It's not going to be as strong as like a vaporized team or something, but it is still quite strong. 
And if you really like the uh, build on Yoimiya where you go with the Thundering Fury to reduce her cooldown more, then you're going to be able to do it all the time, which is nice. And uh, that that is just an option there. This team's also a bit flexible, especially the Electro units. You have Yai Miko here, you could have Raiden Shogun. And as I said, you could swap Bennett for like Yunjin or something, but he is going to be the healer here. So it's all about your personal preference and who you really want to use overall. But Overlord Yoimiya is very viable. And lastly, we'll talk about a melt composition here for Yoimiya. And realistically, you can do pretty much any off field hydro applier here along with a cryo unit. I recommend Diona for the shield and the healing. It's really good for Yoimiya. And then for the last slot, you could put any sort of flex character, whether you want another hydro applier or you want another cryo unit or you want somebody who's going to buff the team like Kazuha here. Kazuha is really good at making sure that you're applying more of those elements across the field and handling that crowd control aspect that we've mentioned that Yoimiya does lack. So I really like him in particular for these kind of melt compositions here. But as I said, you could put another hydro unit or another cryo unit here and you'll do a okay. There's also some interesting ideas I've had where you have like Ayato on the team because he buffs normal attacks too, but it gets really tight to fit in other proper characters to help accent Yoimiya at that part, and you'd probably have to play some sort of support Ayato, and that's cool and all, and I, I think that's pretty fun, but I don't think it's nearly as good as a lot of the other combinations that you could do with these kind of teams. Like you could have like Ayato and Ganyu for like some sort of perma freeze, but then like you kind of are strapped for a healer slash can more consistent hydro applier uh, for the field there. And that just feels kind of weird, but it's certainly possible. And if you want to try that out, it, I would definitely go for it. Uh, but yeah, there's our freeze team there. That's going to be our last team. Let's go ahead and talk about our conclusion. All right, that's going to be about it for this video, and I hope it helped you out building some interesting teams for your Yoimiya. She's a really fun unit and has a lot of different teams that she can actually utilize, although I do feel a little restricted in needing the resistance to interruption, so hopefully we get a unit that can help out with that and help out a little bit more with her kit. I would really like that in the future, but she's still a very flexible unit and a very fun one that can pair with a lot of interesting teams. And hopefully this helped you find some of those interesting teams. But as I mentioned in the intro, I didn't come up with every team comp. If you have something that wasn't on this list, let me know in the comment section below. Would really like to see that. But other than that, hope to see you guys in the next video and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.